So hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So this time we will use Excel and the construct the uh, frequency table. So look at this question here. So using the given data on column A, construct seven class of frequency table. Okay, as you see on A columns, I generate 50 data here. And based on to constructing a uh, frequency table, we need to find out minimum, maximum, and the range. After that, we can find the class width. So that's kind of a uh, step to do it. Okay. So minimum case, so you just click equal sign and type min, and that command is um, represent minimum for Excel. So click that, and then you highlight all this data. You enter, and as you see, we have minimum here. And maximum commander is max, so max. Don't forget equal sign here. If you did, if you don't click equal sign, then nothing happen. So max. Then select all this data again. Okay. Then now you see, uh, on this data set, minimum is four, the maximum is eighty six. Okay. The range means. Uh, difference between the maximum and minimum. So just uh, type equal sign and then you type you just uh, click maximum minus minimum enter. and now we have 82 here. So class width which is usually range divided by number of classes. Okay, so I'm going to type it for you. So therefore, this time we are gonna make division equal to range divided by. So this time we are constructing seven classes, right? So divided by seven. And we got kind of eleven point seven something. And no matter what, we rounding up. So class width become twelve now. Okay. Okay. Then based on this, now we can determine lower limit for each class so lower limit always begin with a minimum value so which is four so i'm gonna make make equal sign and then click minimum value enter and now class width represent the interval between lower limit or upper limit so what i want to do i'm gonna combine so this number plus 12 basically and now I'm gonna click it again and then just copy down. So how many classes? Seven. So now we have one, two, so three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And now upper limit value must be one lower than this value. So I'm gonna say equal to so second lower limit minus one. And now I'm gonna copy this until the uh, six classes here. The reason I don't um, click until seven classes, then if you do, then we can never be one here because not there's no data on eight class, classes base. Okay, therefore what I want to do just to equal to this twelve instead, okay? and we will get uh, the last class upper limit value. Okay, then we are ready to uh, construct basically frequency table. Okay, then now we click data analysis and click the histogram. Okay, so input range means all these data sets. So I'm going to highlight all this data, including this title. And now bin range means upper limit value. So I'm going to click all this value. This time I'm gonna also input title, so I'm gonna label that, and then I'm gonna find output maybe here. Okay. Yeah. Now, so basically shows that upper limit again and then frequency value. So I don't need this row any, or column anymore. So I'm gonna just highlight that, and then bring this to one. And now, 
So anyway, we need to find the total frequency. So go to frequency column here and click that. Then now you see the home button then uh, is awesome, awesome. Click. And it highlights all the frequency value and enter. And now we have 50 data here. Okay. So next one is we're gonna find out the midpoint. So midpoint means average between the lower limit and upper limit. So now you put equal sign and then type average. Okay, then, then highlight our lower limit and upper limit together and enter. Okay, then now you go back and just copy down, drawing down until these seven classes. Then those will be all the midpoint for each class basically. Okay? Now next one is the relative frequency. Okay, so this means each frequency divided by the total frequency. So just put equal sign and then frequency divided by 50. Now you keep copying, so go back here and then drag and copy down until seven classes. And now I want to make sure this is correct, uh, the relative frequency. So I'm going to create auto sum again, then enter, then we got one. Then that is correct. Because that's the percentage value, so the total sum must be equal to one. Okay. Now the last one is cumulative frequency. Okay, so this one requires a little bit two different steps here. So the first uh, class only will see this frequency value. So you click that and then enter. The second one is you are combining the second frequency plus the previous frequency total frequency value here. So now you make an equal sign and this plus the previous one. Don't click this one. You must click this one instead. Go back to uh, this blank again and copy and play that. Uh, drag, drag, uh, draw it down. Then now you see the last uh, cumulative frequency become our total frequency. So that's how we construct the frequency table. And then you have under here with a uh, correct way, then you are done basically constructing frequency table. Okay. So I hope uh, this video helped you to understand constructing the frequency tables. I'm going to come back with the constructing histogram for next video. All right, thank you.